In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get HD texture packs set up for use on XBSX 2.0 for Xbox Series X and S. All right, everybody, one of the nicest features coming to PS2 emulation in the last few years is the ability to finally do HD texture packs and XBSX 2.0 on Xbox Series X and S is able to make use of these as well. Now, thankfully, the setup process for this isn't too complicated, and once you have XBSX 2.0 installed, you can easily get them up and running to enjoy PS2 games at a much higher fidelity, and depending on the texture pack creator, you might also see, like, a different take on some of the assets. Like, it's fun stuff. It's really cool to see what the community can do with this. And when combined with cheats like 60 FPS patches and widescreen hacks and things like that, you can get just a truly mind-blowing experience for some of these older titles. But let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as we get started, you do need to have XBSX 2.0 installed on your Xbox Series X or S. If you have not installed XBSX 2.0 yet, I do have a guide on the channel for getting the program installed, your BIOS set up, and games set up, as well as retro achievement support, hotkeys, controls, and multi local multiplayer set up as well. So links to these will be in the description below. And once you have it all up and running, you continue along with this guide and get some HD texture pack goodness. Now, the hardest part of this process is just tracking down an HD texture pack that you want to use. Unfortunately, there's no real centralized HD texture pack stuff for PCSX2, and as a result, it is smattered around the internet in random places. So you'll be able to find some at places like GBA Temp, Reddit, and other various locations. So I'm going to be using some packs from Panda Venom here because they are games that I happen to have, such as Burnout 3, and then the Xeno Saga Trilogy. So I'll have a link to Panda Venom's texture packs here as well as a couple of other locations for you to check, but otherwise Google's really gonna be your friend here. Again, there's no centralized location for them like with Dolphin, and it's just a little unfortunate. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these HD texture packs. So grab the one for Burnout 3 here. And now I'll grab the one for Xena Saga as well. And once you have all of the HD texture packs you wanna to add to XBSX 2.0, just go ahead and get them all extracted into their own subfolders. So I like to use 7-zip for this because it's really easy. Right click, 7-zip, and then extract to dash, which will give them all their own individual folders. And once all of your packs are extracted, just go ahead and get the USB drive you use for your Xbox emulation projects hooked up to your computer. And there we go. So if you followed my XBSX 2.0 setup guide, you will have an XBSX2 folder inside your USB drive. And inside this, you will see a textures folder that we can easily place HD texture packs into. So to do this, just grab your HD texture packs and they need to be named after the game code. So my Burnout 3 pack here, it's already in a folder named after its game code and inside is a replacements folder. That is already set up and good to go, so that one is perfect. All right, so within the Xena Saga 3 here, we have one for disc one and disc two. I'm not sure which is which, but doesn't really matter. But we also have an optional buttons and original aspect ratio options that we could add to our te HD texture packs here. So just gonna extract this real quick. All right, now that that's extracted, if we open it up, we'll see that there's a number of different textures in here. So I plan on playing four by three for my examples. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy these into my replacements folder for the, for the disks. And then the same thing with this one. All right, there we go. So now that is also good to go. I'm just gonna add these to my desktop under burnout here. There we go. All right, so Xena Saga 2. Those ones are good to go once we're inside the main folder here. And then Xena Saga 1, that one is also good to go. All right, so now I'm just gonna copy these over into my XBSX2 textures folder. And then just wait for it to do its thing because it's gonna take a while. And once you have finished adding all of your texture packs to your folder, again, they need to be their game code inside your textures folder. We are ready to take the USB drive out of our computer and move it back over to our Xbox. Now over on your Xbox, get booted up into dev mode and launch XBSX 2.0. Now the first step that I personally recommend doing is to head down to settings. 
and under your interface settings, make sure you have enable per game settings turned on. This way you can manually enable or disable HD texture packs on a per game basis, along with widescreen cheats or 60 FPS patches if you happen to be using those. Again, this video is just covering HD texture packs. We will have a separate video for cheats and stuff like that that you can check out as well. But with this option enabled, I'm gonna go ahead and back out and load into one of my games that I got an HD texture pack for. So Burnout 3 Takedown, this will be the first one that I showcase here. All right, so here we go. Got Burnout 3 loaded up and we are ready to start doing an event here. So let's get the HD texture packs loaded up. So going into our in-game menu here, go down to game properties. This will let you change settings on a game by game basis. So press the right bumper to head over to the graphic settings and we're gonna scroll down to the texture replacement section here. And we're gonna tell it to load the textures and then we're gonna tell it to do asynchronous texture loading. And then finally, make sure that your texture replacement directory is pointed to E, XBSX2 slash textures or whatever directory that you have put on your USB drives for texture replacements. This is just the examples I used in my setup videos. And with that setting set, we could just back out and see the HD texture pack take effect. Now this might be a bit difficult to see in some games at first, but as you can see, the text is much sharper in Burnout 3 here. So if I were to disable this texture pack, you can see that the pause menu, ooh, it's just, it just got angry right there, that was great. But yeah, when it's disabled, you can see that the text in the menu is a lot more blurred versus the HD texture pack making it a lot sharper. But uh, yeah, it, it did not like that. <laughs> So you might encounter a couple of glitches uh, along your journey to get HD texture packs up and running. Just do be aware of that. Not all are created equally. All right, now for another example, Xenosaga episode one. So if we head into the game properties section here in the quick menu, same deal, head over to the graphic settings here, scroll down to the texture replacement section, load textures and then turn on asynchronous texture loading. And there we go, our HD texture pack is now loaded up for Xenosaga episode one. And again, we can enable and disable the textures if you have a hotkey set, so you can see the differences in the text here in the text box. And then if we head into the menu here, we can see that the text is much, much sharper with the texture pack enabled. And the character portraits are also uh, changed up a bit. I believe this is one of the HD texture packs that's a little bit more suited for widescreen hacks, but it's all right. It serves our purposes here to demo it. And for my final example here, Xena Saga episode two. So same thing, game properties, graphic settings, scroll down to the texture replacement section, load textures, asynchronous textures, and there we go. So here we are in game with Xena Saga episode two. So if we enable and disable the textures here, you can see that uh, it gets a little bit more blurry versus uh, the nice crispness that is provided by the HD texture pack. So HD texture packs provide us a good way to just make our games look a little bit cleaner. And again, depending on the creator, they can get some really creative stuff in them. And it's just fun, it's fun to mess with. But we're gonna go ahead and call it here for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope it helps you get your HD texture pack projects up and running to your desires. I think HD texture packs can be a ton of fun and I hope you do as well. But here at the end of the video, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like dislike button depending on how much you like today's tutorial as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and helping us keep it going, you can check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current champions. Thank you so much for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going for so long. We greatly appreciate you. Couldn't do it without you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, y'all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.